Hello and welcome to episode 31 of series 5 of Become a Legend Story Mode. It's only the blooming World Cup and we're only blooming well in it. Come on! And there we are, looking lovely in the Three Lions. I don't think we expected this to happen quite so soon, did we? It was always on our roadmap, but we were thinking maybe the next World Cup, maybe the Euros. Certainly didn't expect it to be uh, Qatar 2022, but here we are. Incredible scenes here. And uh, we're just going to plunge straight into the group stage. I've already played those games, so I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the group. We're in Group C, alongside Slovenia, the United Arab Emirates and Uruguay. I would say that is a pretty favourable group. Got a great team, a good side with a uh, mix of experience and some really exciting young players like Phil Foden looking to really impress on the international stage as a guaranteed starter for the first time in their career. We started off our World Cup journey against Slovenia and in the 39th minute it was Phil Foden with a beautiful right foot finish inside the box. And that was the only goal of the half, great work there and in the 75th minute we saw our first minutes, first competitive minutes for England as we were subbed on, surprisingly, at left midfield for Sancho. Interestingly, Southgate actually tweaked the formation to bring us on. He clearly believes in us as an important part of this team. Went to a 4-5-1 instead of the three up top, so we were able to play in a uh, left midfield role. Not technically still the right role for us, but we could have gone in at right midfield, which would be ideal. And in the 85th minute, we assisted Harry Kane for the second goal of the game after winning the ball back with some brilliant defensive play. Probably one of the good reasons that uh, Southgate's brought us in. He knows that we are a uh, defensive player in theory, but one that can also get forward. And we showed all of our talents in one impressive move. To seal the points in the first game of the group stage, 72% possession. Pretty much a walk in the park. Walk in a very, very hot park in the desert somewhere. And speaking of deserts, our next game was taking on the uh, UAE. And uh, yeah, this was always going to be the easiest game of the group. And Raheem Sterling started us off in great style in the 20th minute with a Kane assist, easy stuff. In the 32nd minute, it was the captain Harry Kane himself who put away a lovely left foot finish. Cruising, just cruising. And that's how we went in at the half. Five shots to their zero. And once again, Southgate turned to us just after the 70th minute. This time we were subbed in at right back for uh, Big Trent into our favoured role. And we didn't really have much to do in that. It was an easy 2-0 win. And a 2-0 win that with uh, Uruguay and Slovenia drawing was enough to guarantee us a place in the knockout rounds without even having to play Uruguay, who are always going to be the biggest test. So with the pressure off, we went to take on uh, a Uruguay side, still sporting a Suarez and Cavani top two. Interestingly, uh, Southgate took this opportunity to give Chelsea's Tammy Abraham a run out in place of Kane, who's rested, alongside a few other changes just to give some players a run out. We didn't get the start still, unfortunately. Uh, and this change side conceded almost instantly, nine minutes in. It was Suarez who scored from a free kick after a uh, Henderson error. And then in the 20th minute, Skeletor, sorry, not Skeletor, Cavani popped up and uh, scored. The Uruguayan second, yeah, not a great half, a really tough half, in fact. And Southgate looked to make changes early on, and this time we were subbed in at the half. Interestingly, this time into midfield. So we've played left midfield, central midfield, and right back. Still yet to play our favoured right midfield position, but we're in there with Declan Rice and Phil Bowden. What an honour that is. Then in the 53rd minute, Sancho showed great strength and balance. And then a thumping finish to make it 2-1. In the 59th minute, we had our best chance of the game, making a run from deep like a young Frank Lampard up from that central midfield position but we couldn't finish it and in the 83rd minute tempers were raised we got absolutely flattened then looked to try and get in a fight with Diego Godin probably not one we were going to win so now we know the scores we can look at the group itself there we are we finished with an unfortunate loss some good goal scoring dispatching those easier sides group D well Nigeria did very very well three wins to their name only two goals conceded nine goals scored the surprise package of this tournament perhaps Italy making it through Switzerland and Chile missing out. Group E, it's the wrong way up, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> but the USA and Japan both performing well above their predicted abilities. And Portugal somehow only taking one point. That is absurd. Minus four goal difference for them. They're not going to be pleased with that. Group F, as expected, Colombia with a good start to the tournament. And Group G, no less surprising, France, Slovakia looking strong. 
Group H as well. Well, Qatar making it in ahead of Poland and Wales, perhaps a headline there, but Brazil looking dominant, not a single goal conceded in a pretty simple group for them. Group A, much as you might expect, a resurgent Netherlands side looking really efficient. No goals conceded in that group. Possibly the biggest shock of the tournament so far is Germany missing out in Group B uh, and a tough group. And Scotland going through in their place. Incredible scenes there for the Scots, making it through to a World Cup knockout round for the first time in their history. Lovely, lovely work. So that's how we ended the group stages and we are going to be taking on, as I mentioned, the surprise package of the tournament so far in this first knockout round, Nigeria. Interesting. And then we will go on to face either Argentina or Russia. And then potentially in the semi-final, we could be taking on uh, Brazil, Japan. It's not a bad route, I would say, through. I think we've got the easier side of the draw. Uh, the other side obviously has a good Netherlands side. Uruguay, who we struggled against. Italy, Belgium, France. Mm, yeah, I, I think I'd take this side. Nigeria, I feel, is going to be a tough start. In terms of goals so far, it's Harry Kane with two, and then one apiece for Foden, Sancho, and Sterling. And who's that? Who is that with one assist to his name? And hopefully in this episode, we're going to get to uh, see the first knockout round and hopefully the quarterfinals. But without guaranteed starting minutes, and we're going to start from the bench, although we have made an appearance in every game so far. It's not the luck of the draw, but there's very little we can do about this. Let's take a look and uh, see who's going to be starting today. Nigeria, this side have been incredible. Uh, Alex Awobi, I know, and Didi, obviously a good player. Osimen up top, 84 rated. Victor Osimen, I'll admit I just googled that. And through the magic of editing, it makes me appear that I know his name. He's a Napoli centre forward, by far and away their best player. No, well, no, indeed he's 84 rated as well. It's a good side, a side that's been performing really, really well so far. How are we looking? Well, no Kane, that's interesting. No Sancho. No Hunter, but on a green arrow, and with Trent looking tired, we could get some minutes there. Interesting to see Greenwood and Rashford starting in this key game. I'd love to see Foden in the midfield, but I can understand why Gareth has dropped him on the poor form and tired. There's not been any uh, showing for Loftus' cheek so far. I guess Winks is going to have to do. Love Declan Rice, love Madders. Rashford up top. In real life, that wouldn't work. 84 finishing, it'll probably work here. Greenwood a better finisher. Sterling, there's going to be a lot of pressure on him to perform today. And a very, very young side. Harry Winks and Sterling. Well, Sterling is the oldest player. That's crazy. Oh, and Pickford is 28 as well. Well, there you go. Gotta love it. Oh, John Stones is 28. It's this generation, isn't it? This new generation. I am really hopeful, though, for the, uh, the two Manchester United players, both on blue form today. You'd hope to see either one of them getting the goals. Massive game. Massive game. It's all or nothing here in Qatar. Come on, let's do this. But you've got to love uh, playing against an African team in the World Cup. Doesn't get any better than that. Love to see an African team in the knockout rounds. Nigeria, I'm not sure of their record, but they've absolutely deserved their place here with their performances in the group stage. Huge game for Greenwood. Huge game for Declan Rice and Winks as well. Potentially the weak link in that midfield. Gomez and Stones at the back. I'd 100% take that centre-back duo right now over Maguire. Trent's in there looking a bit tired. And uh, Williams is captaining the side today. That's an odd choice. There must be something we don't know about his leadership abilities. Because that is not what you'd expect, but... We'd love to be in the line. We'd love to be starting. Get to be there to enjoy the anthem with our chest puffed out in this huge, huge game. But we'll watch from the bench to begin with. Hopefully get some minutes. Come on. Oh, and just under half an hour gone here. And a big opportunity for Nigeria there. First of the game. It's a good ball down the line. A decent cross is dug out. I'm not sure who it is, but he heads over. Second chance of the game for Nigeria. This is tight as you like. England just about shading it in terms of possession at the moment, but no real golden chances for either side yet. This is as cagey as you would imagine it would be. Oh, and we're off the mark here. Raheem Sterling, the man that everyone was hoping to rely on in this tournament. This really marked a huge turning point you would hope in his career. He needed to start impressing on the highest stage for England and he's come up with our first goal here loads of space for Brandon Williams it's a simple ball into him rolls his defender puts it onto his right foot not enough back up there with a Nigerian centre back 
And Raheem Sterling gets us off the mark here in the knockout rounds. Oh, easy. Easy turn and a good finish. Come on! An opportunity on the break here. Oh, Joe Gomez, excellent defending. And we go in with a 40th minute goal from Raheem Sterling under our belts and a crucial lead here. It's been pretty tight though. Nigeria with two shots on target, us with three. Not a lot in it. Not a lot in it at all. Will we get an opportunity to play in this game? I'm not sure. I'd predict a 70th minute Trent Alexander-Arnold substitution at right back, but we'll see. Oh, this is really well worked. And it is Trent now into Greenwood. Lovely touch from him. Oh, the layoff is gorgeous. Rashford! Oh, that's special. That is special. And Sir Marcus Rashford, Pez's most famous son, <laughs> gets the second goal here after some delightful football. You have to give Gareth Southgate his dues. It's taken him a few years. But he's been able to build a style of football with the national side, uh, with some of the players at his disposal, that is far, far easier on the eye than we've uh, seen from past England sides. Rashford there. Oh, through the legs. <laughs> I think that was the guy you got done for the Sterling goal as well. Falconer not having the best game. And uh, yeah, that will settle the nerves here slightly, but still plenty of time left in this. The next goal will obviously be crucial. Rashford, Sterling, Greenwood in space to end it here. Oh, Mason Greenwood. The only remaining player in this front three not to finish his chance today. And that was maybe the best of the bunch on his weaker left. But he's pretty much ambidextrous. I'm not even sure if he is left or right footed. But he can score goals with both feet. And on a blue arrow you would have hoped he would hit the target there. Oh wow. Wow. Nigeria. Somehow finding something through the centre back. I think he's centre back or right back Chidozi. Obviously pushed forward looking to get a goal. He's a player we know from our Master League days. And this is not in the script. For, oh, it's gone straight over the head of John Stones. He's massively let himself down there. Well, the bums are beginning to squeak en masse now. You can hear it, a faint squeak from the travelling England fans here in Qatar. It's a good take and a good finish. Beats Jordan Pickford. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. We cannot allow them back into this one. We've got to get a third now, I feel. Still plenty of time left. Greenwood, Rashford. Better here. Greenwood, good work. Trent with time to pick a pass. <sighs> unlucky. Really unlucky there. 70th minute. This is when we expected to come on. And we are on, but where? Right back. That's actually been called perfectly. Thing is now, we need to actually defend. For the first time in our lives, the crucial thing here is not to concede. We're going to be defending against Alex Iwobi. We know he's a powerful runner with the ball. Sometimes lacks end product. But playing for his national side. We've got to take him seriously. We've got to stay back. He's playing as a winger. We need to be there. Much more important than getting forward. Right, let's go. Come on. Oh, and they're off. And it's a three on three here. We've got to get back. Stonesy heads away. It won't be. Oh, no. No. Oof. Bloody hell. Where the hell is Joe Gomez? I was in his position. Maybe that's why he wasn't there. We tried to get back, but that was a big opportunity there. Come on, hold tight. Quick throw into Greenwood there. Oh, lovely. Get out of the way, Mason. Can we pick the right ball in here? Oh, Rashford near post. Heads over there. We could have killed it. We could have got the assist to kill this one off. 77 minutes. Still a long time left in this one. We need to be disciplined. We need to be disciplined. That's our ball. Oh, no. That's not discipline. That's not discipline. What are you trying to step over us for? Now get back. Now get back. Now get back. Oh, well won. What are we doing? What are we doing up here? Oh, it's a lovely ball through. Rashford. Oh, ho, ho, and he flashes it across the face of the goal on his weaker left. Could have ended things there. Look at that. Great work, Declan Rice. Good ball through Raheem Sterling. Oh, this is so tense. Oh, we've got the overlap here if he can get to it. What are we doing? What are we doing there? No, we need to be back here. Yes. Yes, making tackles. And now we can move forward. Got two to choose from here. We're away from Iwobi. Can push it now into the path of Raheem Sterling to finish things here. Come on, Raheem. Oh, we did everything right there. 
We won the ball back, drove forward, picked the right ball at the right time to give him the opportunity. Should have finished that. Had to put it to the keeper's side. Come on, we're so close here, so close, but this game could still go either way. 89 minutes on the clock here. We're staying back. We're going nowhere. Just keep the ball. Keep it. In the corner. That's it. That's it, Brandon. Back you go. We're not going anywhere. For the first time in our lives, we are staying home. Oh, that's a foul. Surely edge of the box. Indeed, he wins it back. Good block here. This could be a final chance here for Nigeria. It's going to be launched high into the Qatari sky. We're in the totally wrong position there. That's where we should be, but Gomez is going to get there. Go on. With the out ball here. Off you go, Mason. Off you go. Into the corner. 30 seconds. A quarter final place is within reach here. Aina. Yes. Come on. We've done it. We've done it. Across the country, there'll be pints in the air now. Just imagine the post lockdown World Cup. It's. It's going to be hard to imagine how beautiful an experience this will be. Obviously, the Euros is probably going to be a bit better, but still. This is monumental stuff. And it was a professional performance, really, from the lads. Really good work. We weren't able to do a huge amount with the short time that we were on the pitch. But, yeah, 63% possession. As we've shown throughout this tournament, we can keep the ball. Can we do that against the better teams? Well, we did against Uruguay. So we come on for a six. Happy with that. That's good. Sterling man of the match performance is coming of age. It's happening. Nigeria, unlucky to go out. They've had a really good tournament. They just didn't have enough quality on the day. And we really showed our quality in front of goal. Two great finishes. Could have had more as well. Could have had more. It's going to be really interesting to see who's gone through. Scotland, unfortunately, going out. Uruguay beaten by Italy. America, their dream is over. France beating the host Qatar. Oh, Russia threw on penalties against Argentina. Lionel Messi misses out for possibly the last time. We're through, obviously, Colombia beating Japan. And Brazil continuing their good form, dispatching Slovakia 4-1. Wow, well, there we go. So it's going to be Russia. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And then one of either, well, you'd expect Brazil in the semis. Come on. Quarter final. So six appearances for the England side, 5.8 average rating, one career assist. It's all right with the minutes we've had. I'm not unhappy with that. Type like possession's about to go up, lofted pass, kicking power's going to go up to 70. That's always nice. Yeah, we're looking good. 75 rating now as a right back. It's not bad for a 22-year-old. Not bad at all. So just three days later, will Kane be back in today? Foden potentially. There's been some rotation as you'd expect. We're benched again, but I think pretty happy with that really come on then the Ruskies what's the side looking like well came back in today Rashford Greenwood Sterling drops out in poor form in a red arrow Henderson and Foden come in today for uh, Madison and Winks in the last game that's fine Henderson declining but captains the side makes a bit more sense than Brandon Williams uh, Declan Rice remains unfortunately Maguire's back in but on a blue we should be okay Chilwell out of left back, that's fine. And uh, Dean Henderson in goal, 86 rated, our highest rated keeper. So, happy with that. We're on a yellow arrow, full stamina. I imagine we'll get a run out. Maybe again at right back, because Trent's still recovering. He's putting a lot of yards. Uh, Russia, well, they overcame Argentina. I like the formation, it's a solid one. Uh, no standout players, but good, good ratings all round. Chalabot top, 83 rated striker. Come on then, let's do this. Now what an experience this will be for us in terms of our career. Oh, we're at the new camp. Okay. I don't know. Maybe maybe Qatar. I mean they've got unlimited money. They're sort of like the evil evil empire of the world. Maybe they've done a sort of Space Jam style thing where they've stolen all the stadiums of the world and put them in Qatar. Let's go with that, shall we? And uh, what a stadium this is, obviously. Must have taken a while to move that to the desert, but, you know, with the slave labour they've got, they can do whatever they want and do. Anyway, I was going to say, what an experience this will be for our career. With only a few minutes, sure, but Southgate has given us the trust to put us in in important games and important times. And that's only going to raise our confidence levels. It's only going to improve our overall footballing ability. And who knows how far we can go here. The run so far, Nigeria, Russia... 
to the semi-finals. You'd take that, given the uh, given the choice, and given some of the other options. Let's, uh, let's play as professionally and as, uh, in many cases, beautifully as we did in the last game. And see them off. Come on, come on. Oh no, 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 that's not the start we're after. Chaloff with the first play of the game. Not a single England player had touched it until Henderson picked it out of his own net. One minute 50. Shit. That was not the plan. It's Chilwell really slow to react to that ball out. It's a good early ball. Oh, of course. It's fucking slabhead, isn't it? Ah, ha, ha. Jesus. Right, well... It's nil-nil again, lads. We go again. Let's touch the ball. Chill well. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, and this is turning into a classic already. And Harry Kane levels things up once more. Still yet to play four minutes here at the new Camp. And Harry Kane back in the side, back in the goals there. And it was Chilwell looking to make amends who I think put the ball in. Perfectly weighted cross. Foden there. Smart ball out to Chilwell in loads of space. What a crosser of the ball Ben Chilwell is. And that is a great header. Gets across his man. Powerful stuff there from the captain. No, not the captain, actually. Powerful stuff there from the talisman, though, you would say. <sighs> if this game continues like this, we could have a cracker on our hands. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Harry Kane. Harold Kane. That is something special. He's got the golden boot in his mind, and he's got the goal of the tournament in his mind there, surely. What a ball in, and that is quite incredible. It's sort of an overhead kick, sort of a sideways volley, bit of both. No, it's an overhead kick. I think we can give that official. It's not a bicycle kick. Give that overhead kick, whatever you call it. I call that 2-1 here, and I call it without even 12 minutes being gone, and now... Russia coming forward again. Oh, Chilwell does well. Right, let's take a breather, lads. Let's take control of this game. Let's get our possession stats up. We can do this. Oh, my God. Two all. <laughs> Can't believe it. Chaloff bags his brace. Far, far too easy. Declan Rice rightly absolutely furious. With the lacklustre defending there. Let's take another look. It's, it's far too simple. Once again, it's that man, Harry Maguire. Just failing to get close enough, failing to understand the mechanics of defending a striker who can actually move around. It's good movement from Chalov, but fairly basic. Maguire weighted to the spot by that huge head. Two mistakes from Big Hazard, two goals. We're back to level terms, you can't believe it. Harry Kane must be furious after his overhead kick is basically nullified there. This is turning into something... Quite strange, but also quite beautiful. Oh, Rashford, that's gorgeous. Kane now. Greenwood! <laughs> yes! Unbelievable scenes here in Qatar. As England make it three after just 40 minutes in what has been a blistering quarterfinal. I cannot believe my eyes, but what a take there from England's saviour, Marcus Rashford. Kane finds Greenwood, the Russian defending their suspect. But the young man finishes coolly, powerfully. In a game that really needs to be seen to be believed. We could be watching one of the all-time classics here. And we once again take the lead. Can we hold on to it this time? It's headed away by Rice. They may have another opportunity to put a ball into the box. Chalov on the turn, looking for his hat-trick. Henderson will grasp it close to his chest. And we'll look to play out this first half. Incredible scenes. Four goals in 24 minutes. And then a 41st minute goal from Mason Greenwood. Sees us ahead at the half. Wow. Pretty much everything that's been tried has gone in. Will there be a place for us in this game? I don't know. But even watching from the bench is an honour. Come on. Come on. Let's keep it tight. We've had less possession. That is not like us. We need to gain control of this game. Oh, Miranchuk released down the right-hand side. Finds a good ball into another Miranchuk. Oh, no. Kuchap for Oh, my God. Far post. And that is some save, I think. Or was it a defender there? Good footwork. Good ball in. It's returned to him. And he puts a floated ball to the far post. Oh, it is. Henderson somehow gets a touch to it. Spins across his goal mouth. But we get away with it there. Bloody hell. 
Henderson, good ball out to Trent. Time to look up. Harry Kane, oh my god. Oh my god, I've seen it all. Just imagine being in the pub now watching this. <laughs> oh my god. And not only has he scored a hat-trick in a World Cup quarter-final. But these are some of the best goals you're ever going to see. Hat-trick, World Cup or not. Let's take a look at that. Trent looks up, sees him near post. It's another acrobatic finish. That one is definitely a flying side volley rather than a overhead kick. But take nothing away from the finish. Wow. <laughs> God. The leverage on those long legs. England's hero. Oh my god, no, no, stop it. This is ridiculous. Raskovov, Rasakov, Rasakov makes it three for Russia. Let's take a look here. Maguire's header away is fine. No one out to him quick enough. Rice can get a touch. Oh, you had to do something about that. Chilwell, Rice, neither of them really made the right choice there. Needed to get a foot in. And the finish was there. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. 4-3. Rashford now. Got Sterling through the centre now with Kane substituted. Greenwood is there. Once again, Mason Greenwood missing a massive, massive chance. We really need to kill this one off. It doesn't seem to matter how many goals we score. It's very unselfish there from Raheem Sterling. On for Harry Kane. Puts him into the path of the young striker. Too close to the keeper. Oh, no. Oh, no. Everything seems to be turning to goals at the moment. We could have an opportunity on the break here. Raheem Sterling, he's got Rashford to his left-hand side. Marcus Rashford there to win it, surely, in the 75th minute. Force is a good save, but it's just not good enough. Oh, Marcus. Punched away. Oh, my God, we're on the pitch. Didn't even realise that. Okay, let's take a look at where we are. <laughs> oh, dear. So we are on a central midfield on the left-hand side. Okay. Oh, Raheem Sterling now will find us. Oh, oh my God. Oh, well. It's a professional foul there. Probably worth it to prevent the break. <laughs> Maybe worth it. We lost the ball in a position we shouldn't really be losing it in. And then we just dragged him down to prevent them getting any further. It's probably the right move. We need to be careful now. We'll be there to pick that up. Ball into Williams. Yes, Brandon. No, no, no. Oh, we got to it. No, what? 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 Never. Never. <laughs> we are on a yellow card. There's, there's no chance. Ref, come on. That's the talking to. No more. No more than that. Bloody hell, that's scary. Nothing to that at all, surely. We, we'd outrun him there. Mm, it's sloppy. I think we're probably okay. It's all right. We're coming on, slowing the game down. Being gritty. It's what Southgate will want here, just to break things up, try and kill this momentum that both sides seem to have, but Russia seem to have a little bit more of in these final few moments. These crucial few moments. Any mistake now could cost us everything. That's a good ball out to Williams. We'll back him up here. Go on, Brandon. Oh, that's lovely. Love it. Oh, we've won the foul there. That's better. Good. Good. <laughs> We're keeping things fragmented, slowing things down. That's nice, Brandon. That's nice. Come on, then. Into the corner. Into the corner. Play it safe. No, 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 no. Shit. No. Got to get back. Yes. Yes. Use the pace. Use the energy we've got. That's nice. Come on. Don't fuck it up now. Don't fuck it up now, Hendo. Oh, my God. No. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, Jordan. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, thankfully we're bailed out by another Henderson, but that is unforgivable at this stage of a quarterfinal. We tried our best to get back, maybe. Chalov was aware of us there. Oh, my God. Oh, no. 88th minute. Oh, got to get out. Got to get out. That's our man. Oh, I think we got a touch to that. Yes. Let's go. Actually, no, 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 no. Just, just chill. Just chill. 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 Ben Chilwell. Rashford's header. Sterling. Greenwood. Rashford now. Williams on the overlap. Brandon Williams now. Oh, yes! And it is Mason Greenwood who will seal this one here for England. 
One of the most memorable World Cup games, surely, of all time. Incredible stuff here, and it's Mason Greenwood coming of age with a brace here. And that one, the most crucial of the two. <sighs> Just over two minutes left in this game. Russia threatening to draw things level. And that should just about kill it here. It's great work. Williams up the pitch. We were staying back covering. Yep, covering. That's what we do now. Come on. <laughs> yes. Greenwood. So just a few seconds left in this one. 30 seconds, in fact. Can we get up? Can we keep pushing? We would love a goal. Don't need it. There we have it. Yes. Come on. We've done it. A semi-final awaits after... Wow, I mean, that is going to take a lot out of us. That is a game the likes of which I've never seen in a World Cup before. Had everything, but mainly goals. <laughs> and not a lot of defending. Wow. Well, Harry Kane, incredible. But Mason Greenwood right at the last moment. A goal that was so, so desperately needed and he finished that one. Showed great maturity after missing some big chances so far in this tournament to slot home what was surely the winner. Look at that, incredible numbers. In the end, we were able to just about control possession, which I think was the defining factor in this game. So we came on for a 5.5. It was tricky to get involved. Harry Kane with a 7.5. <laughs> Hat trick in a uh, World Cup knockout. Doesn't get you more than a 7.5. That's pretty much standard. There you have it. Wow. So, next episode, you've got to join me for that. Oh my god, Brazil knocked out as well. Blimey, so we're playing Colombia for a place in the final, which is going to be either against Belgium or the Netherlands. It's going to be a very tricky final. Either way, if we make it there, that is. Well, we certainly got our money's worth in terms of goals from that game. A bit of time to wait now before the semi-finals. There we have it. Well... Join me for that one. We're subbed for that game as well, but that's fine. If it's even half as good as the last one, then we're in for a treat. I'll see you in a bit.